what I'm thinking about putting uh, springs in it, lowering springs, to reduce it, that gap, because I think it's a bit too big. <laughs> These rubber uh, rubber things around the shock itself, those are broken in the front, so or just ripped apart. So I might as well, when I change the springs, I might as well change those. Hello guys and welcome to my brand new video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to put lowering springs in your Emma 2 Spider. Um, I got uh, H and R or H and R um, as we call it in German um, branded uh, springs. Those are uh, made in Germany so don't know um, if you can get those uh, anywhere else but um, they're pretty high quality and we're just going to, ju going to jump right into it. Um, the first thing you will need to do is remove these four bolts to um, yeah, remove the frunk cover and then remove all these plastic clips um, around it which holds these, this big plastic piece um, on. I already removed that off camera but it's just annoying removing all those million uh, plastic clips but now we can get to the um, to the actual uh, strut itself and um, because under this rubber grommet there's uh, the, the strut top bolt um, which we're going to um, loosen um, because later when we have the shock out of the car um, it's hard to remove this bolt um, so we can just loosen it um, before we get the strut out so just um, it's not that uh, tight on but it's easier if you use a large uh, large wrench. Um, you don't need to take it off completely, um, but just loosen it a bit um, so you can take it off easier later. And once you've done that, you can start um, removing these two um, bolts, or at, uh, at first just the nuts on them. It's always good to use some WD-40 to um, on those rusty rusty nuts. Um, I used the, an impact gun, but it's also possible to remove those with a wrench. Once you've done that, the next um, thing you'll need to do um, to remove the, the strut itself is undo the ABS uh, cable. Um, from the strut itself, it's just a, I think it was 10 millimeter. Um, let's just remove that, and on the other side, um, there's also the brake line connected to the shock, um, which you need to remove. So just. Um, Take that out of the way and yeah with that done we can continue. The next thing we will do is remove these three top bolts. Um, but to do that I recommend putting a jack under under the uh, yeah under the, the knuckle because um, else if you don't do that you the drop uh, the the strut will just fall down so you can like that you can just remove these and um, remove the other two bolts which hold the strut in and just take it out. You can see um, the strut is also also always ripped apart and um, or rusted so we will take care of that later. And now we got the front uh, strut out, it's time to remove the, the rears. Um, for that you need a, a torx bit and a, a wrench. Um, so you can undo the um, sway bar links. Um, you can either undo them from the top, like you can see here. Or if that doesn't work, uh, mine were also all rusted, so I replaced those later. Um, you can also try, uh, also try undoing the bottom, it's just the same principle, um, but sometimes the insides with the torx bit will just strip out and then it's impossible to get them off. 
Um, yeah, and then the process is pretty much the same. You need to uh, open the the engine, uh, yeah, lid, and under that cover, um, there's the, the strut bolt. Um, we can also uh, loosen that a bit, like we did in the front, and then just take out the strut uh, the same way as we did before. Um, with the front, you can see move the sway bar uh, link, and we also need to move the brake line um, and the other other two bolts, and then the rest is just uh, similar to the front. All right, now that we got the sh uh, the shocks out, you can um, put on your uh, spring tensioner or however you want to call it, to, to get, uh, I mean you don't need to use it, but it's easier and you won't die from uh, shooting all your suspension parts uh, in your face, so <laughs> I, I like using the spring tensioner, you can see it here, you just hook it onto the, onto the spring and, and compress it, and once you've compressed it enough, um, you will see the, the spring gets a little bit of play. And then you can um, pretty easily um, remove the, the top bolt. And with that removed, um, the strut will just come apart. Um, the, the top um, thing will just slide off. And also the, the spring perch, um, I think it's called, um, is also um, easy, easily removable, um, um, but as you can see, um, all the parts um, laid out, the shock and the these uh, rubber yeah, pieces <laughs> which are left, they're all, all ripped apart, and the old uh, spring um, is also all rusted from the 110,000 kilometers. So, like the, the top part here, it's all rusted and crusty, so um, what I did was um, repaint all this, uh, so I removed a little bit of the rust and used like a uh, rust, uh, I don't know how you would call it, but it, it pretty much um, eliminates the rust, so it won't rust anymore, and you can just uh, yeah, brush or spray it over the, over the rust. And then you can um, assemble the, the struts as you took them apart. And don't forget to grease the uh, bearing on the top. Um, because we want, don't want to get that damaged. Um, yeah, and then it's just um, putting the struts in the same way you took them out. Um, you might uh, disconnect the front sway bar. Um, to get the strut in easier, um, but yeah, as you see, the, the rear is also back in, it's just the same as you would take them out. Don't forget to um, reconnect your sway bar. Um, I, I changed the, these links uh, later, but um, yeah, don't forget that. And with that, you're done. Thanks for watching, and you can see a before and after comparison. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.